Hi, this is Vaughn Mason, and on this segment, I'm going to talk about on-stage monitor mixing. Um, a lot of groups, you'll have uh, your own sound system, and uh, you may have monitors, floor monitors, that are facing you, and then there are speakers that face what you call the house or the audience. Um, most groups have it so that they have one mixer, and that mixer is feeding the house, and then on the board, they send, on the auxiliary send, one and two, or whatever send you want to use. I talk about it in the book, so I'll explain it in that. Uh, they'll send the signal for the vocalist or the drums and the, the snare and the hi-hat and the keyboard. They'll send part of that signal back to the monitors, which are facing the performers or yourself if you're if they're a singer. So there'd be speakers on the floor facing the entertainer, and then there's house speakers which face the audience. It's the same setup whether it's for 10,000 people or five people or 20 people or at a bar mitzvah or whatever. So you have main speakers, you have monitor speakers. Most groups make the mix that they're hearing back to themselves or the monitor mix or the on-stage mix is what they're sending back to themselves so that they can hear themselves uh, so they don't get that standing wave that I talked about in an earlier segment or I will talk about it later depending on how we edit this together. But when you're playing at a coliseum or a large venue and it's a professional setup, you're going to have one of these boards, mixing consoles, out in the audience, in the middle of the room. If you've been to concerts, you'll see the guy, he's on a riser and he's got the board and usually the light guy is sitting right next to him so he can control the lights. They're sitting in the audience. That's for the house. On stage, as I'm on, if I was on stage now, either set up on the left or the right of me, off to the side, there's going to be another mixing console and, an, and excuse me, and another engineer, <clears throat> and his job is only to feed and mix what I hear in the speakers on the floor and on the side fills. The side fills can be full range speakers that may be from the floor to here. Um, I mean, I mean, some big ass speakers that send you the the uh, full mix through there and then a mix coming down or at you from the floor monitors and it, then you get surrounded by the sound when you're performing so your mic's here and the floor monitors there in a professional setup the independent person is in the back he's doing the main the person off to the side is called the on stage monitor man monitor woman or he's the person running on stage monitor en engineer so what you want to do is have a communication when you get to the place, the venue. The first thing I do every time is I walk out to the house guy and introduce myself and say, hey, uh, thank you very much uh, for doing the sound for me. They haven't even done it yet. I'm just being diplomatic and I'm showing respect because they can cut your throat. You can be on stage thinking you are cranking and your monitors sound great because this guy's doing a great mix and outside there he thought you were a jerk. He's got your mix all screwed up because what you hear on stage is not what the audience is hearing. It's two separate mixes because they take the microphone that you're, let's say this is a, let's say this is a microphone, but when it comes out, let's say it had a wire to it. It wasn't wireless. The, the, the cord goes into a snake from that snake, it splits. So now this signal coming out of this mic cable now splits into two, and one is going off to the monitor mixer, and one is going down the snake and out to the house. So that guy has control of my mic for the house sound, independent of what I'm hearing on stage. So be diplomatic and talk to the house mixer and then I go over to the monitor guy and say listen you know I want a global mix forget all that each monitor has a separate mix for the, I just want more guitar or more bass or whatever or more drums or less drums or no vocals you don't have time for that because if you start getting feedback on stage 
the monitor mixer on stage, he's got to go through all these different dials to figure out which monitor is feeding back and what's causing it to feed back. You don't have time for that. You're up there. This is live, baby. This is not This is not a recording studio where you can run it back. So the audience is going to hear the feedback, blah, blah, blah. It's a mess. Forget all that. What you want to do is a global mix and a mo on-stage monitor guy is the person that mixes just for the stage that you hear as the performer. That is one of your best friends. The guy out in the house is really a good friend. I talk about it in the book, The Music Business Bible Survival Kit. I explain to you how to do all of this because you can be successful at what you're trying to do in music. It's tough. It's really tough because people can get stuff for free. So you've got to know the business end because if you're not making money at this, you're doing it as a hobby. It comes with a DVD. It shows you how to shoot music videos, light them, has a 40-minute interview with the 45 King. He did Hard Knock Life for Jay-Z, Stand for Eminem. Uh, you got, you'll see his studio. I ask him all the questions you want to know. How did you get with Eminem? How did you get with Jay-Z? Did you use a lawyer? Blah, blah, blah. I ask him all the questions, and I demand he gives you the answers because I used to be his landlord in East Orange, New Jersey. So him and I are friends. So I want him to give you the information that most people won't because they're trying to hoard the information. Here's a CD-ROM with all the contracts you need. I tell you when to use them, how to use them, and to whose advantage it's to. Till next time, this is Vaughn. Talk to you.